Jigma Dorji Wangchuk Wiley, Jigs Med Rdo Rjed Bang Phiag, 2 May 1929 to 21 July 1972 was the Druk Galpo of Bhutan. He began to open Bhutan to the outside world, began modernization, and took the first steps toward democratization. Education and royal wedding Jigma Dorji Wangchuk was born in 1929 in Thrupang Palace in Trongsa. At a young age, he was apprenticed in etiquette and leadership at the royal court of his father the king. Wangchuk was educated in a British manner in Kalimpong and went on study tours and stayed to many foreign countries such as Scotland and Switzerland from where he drew inspiration to develop Bhutan with suitable adaptations. In 1943, he was appointed Trongsa Dronier and then elevated as the 25th Paro Penlop in 1950. Upon the death of the 24th Paro Penlop, Tsharing Penjor, Wangchuk married Ashi Kessing Choden Wangchuk, born 1930, the daughter of Gongzim Lord Chamberlain Sanam Topge Dorji, 1896-1953, in 1951. The royal wedding was held in Paro Garden Palace. The following year, Wangchuk became the king after his father died in Kunga Rabton Palace. Coronation was held in Punaka di Zong on 27 October 1952. <laughs> father of modern Bhutan During his 20-year reign that ended in June 1972, the fundamental reorientation of Bhutanese society began. Wangchuk not only achieved the reorganization of society and government, but also consolidated Bhutan's sovereignty and security. He mobilized resources from the international donors as aid. Wangchuk's strategy was to broaden the source of aid by developing relationships with other countries. Bhutan joined the Colombo Plan in 1962 to obtain international aid. However, India became the main source of financial and technical assistance. He was a deft and farsighted planner in the sense that he modernized Bhutan without destabilizing its culture and tradition. Wangchuk brought modern techniques and methods to preserve and promote the culture of Bhutan, yet at the same time, he introduced Western science and technology. He was a forerunner among environmentalists in this part of the world. The Manas Sanctuary established in 1966 was one of the first in the region. Topic. Political and social reforms In the context of Bhutan, there were small groups who were bonded laborers. They would work on the farms of the aristocratic and prominent families. In return, they would receive food, lodging and clothes. As soon as he became the king, laborers who worked on the royal lands were made into tenants and sharecroppers instead of indentured laborers. Later, similar indentured laborers were set free in other areas of the country, especially in some parts of eastern Bhutan, where they were concentrated. In 1953, Wangchuk, realizing that hitherto the decision of the king and that of the high officials were binding on the country, wanted them to be shared. As a result, Wangchuk opened the National Assembly of Bhutan in 1953 in Punaka di Zong. For the first time elders from different Gawags were invited to voice their concerns, ideas and solutions for the future of this country. At the same time, it was a forum for Wangchuk to share his larger vision for Bhutan in the years to come. After the National Assembly was established in 1953, the king drafted and devised a series of progressive laws for the kingdom. The king brought out a holistic set of laws covering fundamental aspects of Bhutanese life such as land, livestock, marriage, inheritance, property and so forth. The Thrimjung Chinmo Supreme Law was passed by the National Assembly in 1959. The laws are very organic, coherently interrelated within themselves and to the evolving reality and manifested his vision of a law-based society. Along with the promulgation of Thrimjung Chinmo, a mechanism to implement and enforce laws was needed. Wangchuk decided to open the judiciary, first with the appointment of Thrimpons judges in districts, and then finally to the High Court, which was set up in 1968. These administrative and social reforms were prior to any economic modernization programs. In 1955, he intensified the conversion of commodity taxes to cash taxes by assessing land for cash taxation. 
Cash taxes were nominal, but moving from commodity taxes to cash taxes was a radical step at that time. Apart from promulgation of better laws and tax reforms, the Royal Bhutan Army was formally established in 1963. Furthermore, the entitlements of all officials were converted from commodities to cash and new designations were given. Wangchuk established new ministries in 1968. <laughs> Culture and education The king paid considerable policy attention on preserving Bhutanese culture so that Bhutan could always perpetuate itself as a culturally distinct nation, in particular with a flourishing Buddhist culture. He established Simtoka Rigshung Labdra now known as the Institute of Language and Cultural Studies in 1967, where a new breed of traditional scholars could be nurtured. He also increased the number of monks in many Dratshangs. During his reign the systematic phonetic, syntax and grammatic rules of Zonka language were devised. To propagate culture and traditions in schools, and to study scientific disciplines as well as humanities, the Third King established modern education on a widespread basis. He established what were then the centers of education excellence with two public schools, Yangchenfug, in western Bhutan in 1969, and the other, Kanglung, in eastern Bhutan in 1968. An agriculture department was created to improve nutrition and to generate income from horticulture. The kingdom's free health service was also founded. <laughs> Infrastructure development Modernizing Bataan's infrastructure for transportation, communications, education, health system and agriculture started after India was receptive enough to offer aid. India became independent in 1947, and was not in any immediate position to help Bhutan. Wangchuk officially visited India in 1954. The first Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru made a historic journey to Bhutan in September 1958. King Jigma Dorji Wangchuk then paid repeated visits to India. A year after Nehru visited Bhutan in 1958, the development of Bhutan's modern infrastructure began, with assistance from India. Although road construction started in 1959, a large-scale undertaking became systematic two years later in 1961, with the commencement of the first five-year plan FYP that envisaged construction of 177 kilometers of road, 108 schools, three hospitals, and 45 clinics. In 1961, motor road transport reached Tempu. The systematic envisioning of the economic future of Bhutan through FYPs was put into practice in 1961. The idea of budgeting and programming on a five-year basis is a legacy from that period. The construction of roads expanded vigorously to the end of Jigma Dorji Wangchuk's reign. His very last visit to central Bhutan was partly to open the Zhonglam, the highway between Wangdu Fodrang and Trongsa, in 1971. Topic. Multilateral and bilateral relations The king's priority was to continue deepening the excellent relationship with India. The second priority was to diversify the relationship with other countries. He intended to strike close economic relationship with Bangladesh. Bhutan was the first nation after India to recognize the independence of Bangladesh. One key event his era was enabling Bhutan to join the United Nations in 1971, when it became its 125th member. <laughs> <laughs> Styles 1929–1944, Dasho Jigma Dorji Wangchuk 1944–1946, Trongsa Dronyar Dasho Jigma Dorji Wangchuk 1946–1952, Paro Penlop Dasho Jigma Dorji Wangchuk 1952–1963, His Highness Sri Panch Maharaj Jigma Dorji Wangchuk, Maharaja of Bhutan 1963–1972, His Majesty Druk Galpo Jigma Dorji Wangchuk, Mang Pas Bhur Bai Argyalpo, King of Bhutan Topic. Patronages Life member and patron of Maha Bodhi Society Topic. 
Topic Honors Topic National Honors Bhutan Grand Master of the Royal Order of Bhutan Drukthuksi Equals Son of the Heart of the Thunder Dragon, 1966. Equals. Topic: Foreign Honors. Equals. United Kingdom. King George V Silver Jubilee Medal, the 5th of June 1935. King George VI Coronation Medal, the 5th of December 1937. India. Padma Vibhushan, the 26th of January 1954. Topic: Ancestry. Topic: See also. Jigma Dorji National Park.